He's five foot seven, he's football heaven. He drinks sangria, he's right here. Luis Garcia. And I'm with... Me, Joe Worsley. And me, Tancredi Palmieri. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League fantasy football show presented by PlayStation. Not only do we have former Spain international UEFA Champions League winner and Liverpool legend Luis Garcia right here. No, 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 no. Because we are also closing the Oktoberfest, getting down to Deutschland, hearing the word on the street from the boys in the hood and the one in a hat, the Borussia Dortmund's duo, Mario Goetze and Julian Feigl. Plus, the lads from Borussia munching flapjack, the German <laughs> club, Lars Stindl and Christoph Kramer offering you tips ahead of match day four. Luis, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Say the <laughs> yes, name. Yes, yes, Dudek. Yes, Dudek. Yes, we want to make you feel comfortable here. Kill. You know who's not feeling comfortable? There is like Spanish fever that is going around. First of all, Samir Nasri. He might miss the game against Dinamo Zagreb, but also Barcelona. Very tough for them. Andres Iniesta is out. Gerard Piquet is out. And Jordi Alba. But not only that, because Jeremy Mathieu is suspended for the trip to Manchester City. So there's great big holes in Barcelona's defence. Does that offer Man City a chance? Definitely, definitely. Jordi Alba is one of the quickest players, so very important in Barcelona defence. And Gerard Piquet, that is, that is like the key player right there, who, the one who holds the, the whole uh, defence. So, yeah, City's got a big chance to win the game. Let's hope at least for the same amount of goals, not only because I'm going to attend Manchester City, Barcelona, but now it's time, guys, to salute the hat-trick heroes of Match Day 3. One round of applause for Mesut Ozil. One round, that's it. For Mesut Ozil, three goals against Ludo Goretz, 26 points. Imagine to have him in your team as a captain. What if you picked Di Maria in place of him? Bravo, Tanktel, bravo. And congratulations to Mesut as well, because that's his first professional hat-trick. He, he has scored a hat-trick before, though. Let's have a look at this. No round of applause for that haircut. That's when he scored it at Schalke's youth level back in 2005. Look at that haircut. There's about six different haircuts on one head. Mm. So there you go. And speaking of blonde streaks in hair as well, the little big man himself, Lionel Messi, three against Manchester City, makes him the highest scoring player in the whole game. Well done, Lionel. 45 goals in match day three. Let me tell you who I was impressed by. This guy, Bansan Abubakar. He waited for the right game to score his first two goals with Besiktas. And he should probably also send a present to the Napoli defenders for being so kind to him. But also because we want to be kind to the Spanish guest. Here he comes, Alvaro Morata. 8.5 million of euros, 14 points. He played only 50 minutes so far and he scored two goals and gave one assist. What do you think about him? Brilliant player. Uh, we're still waiting for him to, to shine in, a, in the 11 started. Uh, I think Zinedine Zidane have to give him the chance to, to start from the very beginning because every time he gets into the, into the game, always score, always uh, have an assist. And he's very important in the up front in Real Madrid. So we'll see if he goes more chances. I tell you who impressed me, the flying Dutch winger, Arjen Robin. There he is, he's going back to his former club, PSV. 8.5 mil, 11 points overall, 10 on the night. What a player he is. What a he? left foot, fantastic player. I'll tell you who else as well. Superman, still going at the oh, age Gigi. of 97. Oh, Gigi. <laughs> Gigi Buffon, 24.6 points, 6 million. Another clean sheet against Leon. You what played a... against him, haven't you? I did in uh, you. a few years ago. You yeah. wish you would have scored against him, right? Eh? Yeah, I did actually, yeah. That has never happened. Yeah. Don't lie. That what a final of Champions League 2005. That has never happened. Enough uh, with hearing <laughs> from us mere mortals about who we would pick or not. Let's hear who is the hottest player in Germany, or I should say the warmest. For our game against Sporting, I would recommend you to take Young because he has hit every in every game. Getroffen hat. Für den vierten Spieltag gegen Celtic Glasgow empfehle ich euch unseren Torhüter Jan Sommer, weil ich davon überzeugt bin, dass er wieder zu Null spielen wird. After my goal against Sporting, I know I have 11 points, so pick me in your fantasy team. Christoph Kramer, 25 Jahre alt, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Für unser Spiel am vierten Spieltag gegen Celtic empfehle ich euch ganz klar Christoph Kramer, weil der ist immer für ein Tor gut. Can you believe that? 
Christoph Kramer talking about himself in the third person. Joe Worsley hates that. Now then, Lewis, you were involved when Liverpool beat AC Milan in the 2005 Champions League final, which for me was the greatest footballing moment since Bolton beat Manchester United in the 1958 FA Cup final. And we have worked out a surprise for you <laughs> for this day. We worked out how many points you would have scored in the whole 2005 Champions League campaign. Okay. Look at you. Mamma mia, 55 points for Luis Garcia. It's even uh, rhyming. <laughs> and also, the iconic, amazing moment. It's the best moment of your life. You go with their hat. Yes, I know, I know. What happened there? <laughs> well, what happened? What, they, what have you done? Celebrate, you celebrate, you start doing whatever the, the supporters, they send me, uh, throw me that from the stand, so I wear it. That's a That's good right. excuse, actually. <laughs> we, we will pretend we believe to that. Right, kill the lights. It's quick fire time. Oh. Let's go. First football shirt you wore as a child. Atletico Bilbao. Would you wear this Manchester United shirt for 100 euros? No. Tea or coffee? Tea. Hang on, mate. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Your goal against Chelsea in 2005 Champions League semi-final. Cross what? the line. Best player you ever played with? Uh, Ronaldinho. Proudest moment in football? Uh, we are the national team jersey. Fantasy formation 3-4-3 or 4-4-2? Attack 3-4-3. Best friend in the game? Uh, Tote, played for Valladolid and Real Madrid. Out wide or in the middle? In the middle. Favorite city you have played in, and they mm. aren't few. Barcelona, Valladolid, Toledo, Tenerife, Madrid, Liverpool, Santander, Athens, Puebla, Mexico City, Kolkata or Gosford? Athens. Right, there you go, that's the end of the uh, quick fire round. Let's have the lights back up, please. Well, I have to say, I don't know how many of this next lot will know where Gosford is. Hey, my parents live in Gosford. So, the parents of the cameraman from Australia live in Gosford. But let's hear now from our friend Jamie from DraftKings.co.uk about the picks. Okay, first up is Porto's talented Brazilian, Otavio. He has one goal, one assist so far in the Champions League this season. He has the most dribbles and he's got 14 points. Two of Porto's last three matches are at home as well. Next up is Monaco's Bernardo Silva, who used to play for Porto's big rivals, Benfica. He scored two goals so far in the Champions League, one of them coming against Cesco at Moscow. Monaco hosts the Russian side next up, and they have not kept a clean sheet in the Champions League this season. Yannick Carrasco is on fire so far. He scored his first career hat-trick just a few weeks ago in Spain, scored against Rostov on the last match day, and now has 17 points in the Champions League this season. Yannick Carrasco getting a mention there, scored against Rostov last time, Atletico Madrid legend. Is he doing the business for you? And yep, everybody he is. Uh, he's playing fantastically. And now he's on fire, scoring goals back in the team and doing so such a good, good, good job. You know, with Mario Getze, not only we share the fact that we are to World Cup final scorer, yes it is, but also we agree on the fact that this guy, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, can be the hot one for the next match day. 10 million, 17 points scored in this campaign so far. They are hosting Sporting. What do you think? And is he better already than Luis Garcia? Yeah, he's doing well, <laughs> we have to say. <laughs> will he score against Sporting? Uh, yeah, I think he will. I think right now he's in a fantastic form. He's doing so well. He's got everything. He's uh, fast, got a fantastic technique, mm -hmm. a fantastic, fantastic strike. So we'll see. He's doing well. Well, he's good. But for me, the hot Chilean, Alexis Sanchez, 9.6 million, heavily involved in Arsenal's demolition of Ludogorets 6 0, I believe it was last time. He's playing again this time. He scored. He's on fire, isn't he? He's on fire, and uh, he, he does so many things for, for, the, for the team. I think it's not only about scoring that is important, but also he's assisting, he's moving all around in the, in, the, in the top front. So I think he's one of the key players for Arsenal this year. Enough about commenting our picks, too easy. Now we work about your team. It's the Luis Gar. You have worked a lot to get out this name. <laughs> yeah, eh? oh. difficult one. Congratulations, okay, Luis? Okay, explain us. Who have you picked? Let's see. Okay, uh, in the goalkeeper, I said uh, all black because I like him very much. He's a safe uh, uh, right on goal, brilliant, and for Atletico Madrid, very important. Three at the back, we got Bonucci, Tom Tiri. Uh, I'm saying uh, we got because this team I, I've done it with my kid, so he helped me a little <laughs> bit with some of the players. Uh, Bonucci, Tom Tiri, and uh, Luis uh, Felipe. Uh, Luis Felipe because it's very important because he's going to go all the time up front. Mm -hmm. He looks for uh, try to make something uh, in attack. In the midfield, we got uh, Chamberlain, Deli Ali, Kimmich and Kedira. 
Uh, Kimmich, they play against PSV. Kimmich can go up front and try to maybe uh, hit some balls from and outside the box. And the price the ball. is very good. Very, very good. And up front, we'll go with um, Callejon, Aubameyang, and of course, Lionel Messi. Where do you think that team will place you on the uh, on the wall of fame here? These are the previous guests. This is how it's looking. Jens Lehmann, 36. Christian Carambo, just above him. Lovely bit of cheese, Carambo. And then above him, a, a friend of yours, I believe, Gais yeah, Kamendi. Yeah, friend of mine, yeah. 57 points on match day three. But what happened there with 57? He's got well, something like, yeah. I'll tell you why that's there. It's because he cheated. Why? He spent 103.5 million on just 11 players. I think I can go in between uh, Karen Boehm and Dieta. I think and I can reach that. Yeah, definitely. Well, you can't beat 57. I think it's difficult. Cheat. It's not easy. So, yeah, well, cheating, yeah. So you can, can get up. back three goals if, in the final in yeah. Istanbul and you can <laughs> beat that 57. Are you serious? I th well, we'll see. I, I mean, I, I can see a lot of goals coming up here. So hopefully I can, yeah, that'll be nice if I can reach the 57. Let's have a look at the leaderboard from around the world then. And uh, the winner so far is I Love the Girl Next Door. Oh, isn't that nice? 276 points, and maybe he'll be able to play on his Sony PlayStation 4 with the girl next door on his copy of Pro Evo 2005. You're in that one. Yeah, was it? Nice. Okay, that's it for this week. I'll see you next week. We forgot to mention how we did last week. How'd you get on, Tank? I don't know. It's, the bus is leaving. We have to go. How many did you get? <laughs> 61, the bus, 61, uh, 61. That's just four short of 65 that I got. Cheers.